One of the questions we get asked a lot is, can elderberry syrup make you sick? The answer is probably not, but there are exceptions to that rule. I'm not a doctor, I'm an herbalist, so always check with your healthcare provider or someone who you trust is an expert who can lead you and guide you in supporting your family's health. With that being said, there are two reasons why elderberry syrup is not going to be the best decision for your health. One, if you are on dialysis, elderberry syrup is a mild diuretic, so it does allow you to clear and expel fluids. It's very mild, it's not something that is taxing on the kidneys per se, but it does have that quality. So if you are on dialysis, elderberry syrup is not going to be the choice for you for your immune system. You may look into other immune supporting formulas of just ask your doctor what would be best, but I would probably avoid elderberry if you are on dialysis. If you are taking a medication specifically to suppress your immune system function, you are on an immune system suppressing drug, Elderberry syrup is probably not the best choice for your health. Elderberry syrup does increase immune system messaging. Scientific word is immunomodulation. So it activates and makes your immune system be more active. So it would be contraindicated if your immune system is working against you, which is in the case of an autoimmune condition, and if you are taking a medicine to suppress that, elderberry syrup would probably not be the choice for you. At the end of the day, herbs are the people's medicine. So you have the freedom to use this and check in with yourself and see how you feel. You may do fine on elderberry syrup, or you may notice, I don't really feel this great. This isn't really something that's going, that's jiving well with my body. So listen to your body and use what you feel drawn to. Check in with your doctor, but at the end of the day, you are gonna be the one that can make that decision for your health.